and welcome back. My name is Sensei Pong, and we are back to the story of finding someone's diary of when we got killed with our brother that poured poison in our ear, but we don't know that because we were asleep during the whole time, so we don't really know that's what happened. So we have to figure that out. It's, um, oh my gosh, what was that term? Paradoxical second person irony or something like that. <laughs> Um, so our choices are again door number one wake this person up w wake up this person and ask her about it or number two wake up this person and hold a p up a piece of paper where you've written down a question asking her about it so if like I said I'm gonna do what the banshee does and wake up this person and hold a piece of paper you grab a piece of paper and write down the words hey I'm not here to kill you I just want to know about the murder you maybe witnessed, but in Danish, of course. Ha ha ha. <laughs> you gently shake the woman awake while holding the piece of paper up in front of her. She's freaked out initially. She <laughs> was just woken up by, by, by a g -g 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 ghostly appar apparition from beyond the grave. But once she reads a note, she looks at you suspiciously and, suspiciously and says, For real? You flip over the paper and write, Yeah, I'm the guy who got killed, maybe. And I guess I want to revenge my death or whatever. <laughs> or actually, here, a ghost voice. Yeah, I'm the guy who got killed, maybe. And I guess I want to revenge my death or whatever. But please speak slowly, as Norwegian is not my native language. I'm from Denmark. Oh, the woman says in Danish. I speak Danish, too. I don't know how Danish sounds like, so I can't do an accent for you. <laughs> Kick ass, you reply. <laughs> she tells you what she saw and gives you a physical description of the guy. Unfortunately, the man answering to her description could only be one person. Your brother, Claudius. <gasps> Congratulations, my king. You now know what you know, so that whole second person pronoun paradoxical auto-dramatic irony thing has been slain. Yay! 500 experience points. New quest. Revenge yourself on Claudius. You have been awarded 500 experience points. Plus, you've unlocked a new quest. Revenge yourself on Claudius. Hoo-hoo! <coughs> We've got a quest now. <laughs> You're feeling pretty chuffed about this whole situation. <laughs> okay, let's revenge your death. Your murderer is getting away with it in Denmark. Swim back to Denmark, or wait for the next boat back to Denmark. Um, well, Denmark's pretty far, so we'll wait for the boat. But we are a ghost, so it's not like we can drown. I don't know. Um, oh golly, we've hit a we've hit a little conundrum here. Um, and then again, swimming back would be a lot faster because we've got ghost powers. And ghosts. I don't know. I, I, hold on, give me a second. Bongo. How, how fast? How fast does a ghost swim? Should I trust my swimming instincts? You could just fly better if he I know he can just fly there. That's the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> but um. Apparently he doesn't. No, he. Well, I don't know. He's. A, well, there's a good question. Has anybody actually seen a ghost flying through the air? Like, you always see those paranormal activities, and they're doing, like, random things. Like, you know, random normal things. Like, walking walking around, doing their laundry, shutting doors, walking up and down stairs. You don't actually see them fly. Yeah, you, or, like... In those horror movies, you always see the ghost, like the the, the, chi the like the the blonde virgin chick that's like 18 years old, is, that doesn't die in the movie, looks in the mirror, like brushing her teeth or combing her hair, and she's like, ah, la, 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 and she sees the ghost in the mirror, but it's just standing there. It's not flying like, Wee! <laughs> I'm a ghost now, and then she freaks out, and the ghost goes kills her boyfriend or the black guy, because um, that's how horror movies work. Um, the blonde virgin chick never dies um, in those kind of movies which is why I would never want to be in a horror movie situation because I'm not white 
I would probably die if there's no other black guys there. I don't mean, I'm not black, but I'm just saying, this is, this is a racial stereotype in horror movies, and it probably should stop so it's not a meme. <laughs> well, it's her friend that dies. Oh, that's right, and Scream Drew, Drew Barrymore does get killed. Huh. Does she? I thought she survived. Well, shabam. <laughs> oh, and Psycho. Yeah, okay, well, we just killed a trope. Myth busted! Boom! Black guy doesn't always die first. Shabam. I feel like I'm hitting up over. R racial jokes that will get me flamed. But, back to the choices. Swim back to Denmark or wait for the next boat to Denmark. I think, since I am a ghost, it doesn't really matter unless there's ghost sharks. Which, there could be ghost sharks. I don't know. So let's wait for the next boat. You go down to the docks and start poking your head into the bridge of every boat and you can find. Flipping through the captain's logs and itineraries until you find one that's headed for Denmark. Oop, and it leaves you just a few minutes. Oh, it leaves in just a few minutes. Nice! This is really convenient. During the voyage, you poke around the boat looking for things to amuse yourself with. You experiment with doing some ghost things like putting your head inside a barrel of wine when making your head <laughs> corporeal. But that just causes the barrel to explode with the sudden pressure inside your inside and makes you get <laughs> wine in your eyes. So you don't, <laughs> don't do that more than a few minutes. <laughs> it only takes a while before the boat arrives in Denmark. Oh, arrive in Denmark. You make it back to Denmark. The first thing you want to do is track down your brother and take revenge. Turns out that was really easy because he's in the first place you check. The royal court. He's there with your widow, Gertrude. Weird. They're acting all close and stuff. Oh well, he's probably just trying to comfort her after you, your untimely death. Haha, <laughs> brothers are really great. Though, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, so now my choices are listen to what they're saying or ignore what they're saying. I'm certain there's nothing untoward going on. <laughs> I've read Hamlet, I know what's going on, and I've seen him. Which reminds me, if anybody has seen, um... Uh, if, if you're interested in actually the play Hamlet, go look up, uh, I believe it was done by the BBC, but it has uh, David Tennant as Hamlet himself, who um, was, um, uh, uh, wow, uh, Doctor Number 10, yes, Doctor Number 10, if, for all those Doctor Who fans out there. Go check it out. It's it's freaking awesome. Then again, if I watch that version of Hamlet, it's no matter how awesome it is, I always see Doctor, the Doctor there, as Hamlet. And then another note for all the Trekkie fans out there. This one was pretty cool. You get Patrick Stewart as Claudius. Excellent work from the two of them, and one of the best versions of Hamlet I have ever seen. Mostly just because of those two guys. But anywho. Our choices, again, are listen in on what they're saying or ignore what they're saying. I'm certain there's nothing untoward going on. Both. No. Alright. Alright. It's so back my choices. Um. La 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 la. I believe... You're gonna have to wait until next time here with Sensei Pong on To Be or Not To Be Part 3. Like and subscribe.